first black person to ever play in the game of Auburn. He was also one of the first people to ever play in it. In the early 20s, it was called Barn Dance, and they would play classical music. And the classical musicians were known to do their version of a train band. They found this man in Newport Bailey playing on a local radio station. He was died. The grandson of slaves, and what happened is he was crippled because of polio, and he managed to learn how to walk, but never grew more than four foot ten, and was always disfigured a little bit. He learned how to play the harmonica to play money because he couldn't work in the fields. And when they, he finally met the people at the original Grand Ole Opry, they did the train imitation, and then they had him do it, and they renamed it the Grand Ole Opry in his honor. He was the first person to ever play on the original Grand Ole Opry. So I'm going to imitate two of his tunes that he did without any accompaniment, and it's, they're called Pan American Blues, which was his imitation of a train in Fox Chase, which was really just, you had to do it back then, really, to be a harmonica player. <laughs> until 1941 when there was the licensing issues when he couldn't play his songs anymore. He still hasn't been inducted into the Grand Ole Opry Hall of Fame, but has been inducted into the Country Hall of Fame. A lot of the original Grand Ole Opry people believe okay. he should be in there, but some do believe that he shouldn't be, and it's a racial issue that still hasn't ever been fixed. And he was very well known for not being accepted into hotel rooms, even though he was the star of the Grand Ole Opry. He was given 20 minutes each show, just about. And what happened was, at this point, when he was given this time, they'd have to say he was a valet or just say he was a servant so he could get into it. Another player I want to quickly go over, then I'm going to play you one more song, is a guy named Blues Burnhead. And what he is very known for is not much at all except one recording he did. And it was called Mean Low, Mean Down Blues, I believe. And what he does in this is very important to modern harmonica playing because of a technique. I want to pull that back a little bit because it's feedback. Okay. Sorry, but. That's something of a technique he did called an overblow, which is getting another note of the harmonica that's not usually there. And a man named Howard Levy uses this technique. Getting those notes allow the chromatic scale in the harmonica. And during one of his recordings, he hit an overblow. This is very well known, and it was the first recording ever done of an overblow in 1927, I believe. Now it's used extensively by an artist who came from Maine and Jason Ritchie and several other people like Howard Levy. Uh, this song is a song that Scott Davis is going to sing, and this is a uh, big Bill Bruinsy song. This is uh, probably a song that Sonny Boy Williamson had once played on. Thank you. 
a troubled mind And I had so blue How won't he blew our way Until the sun's gonna shine on My bad door for me forgotten but thanks to a guy named Joe Felisco who started making custom harmonicas he really got the word out for them so people like D Ford and them will stay alive and they were the beginning of what we have today and thanks to them and it's good to have them remembered so thank you very much <laughs> 